the Geordie Reptiles. Yeah, my name's Ryan. I'm just going to show you a little bit of my collection now. Show you what we've got uh, in here. I do have a sub adult young female Salma Pierce Cambridge, which is a Trinidad Chevron tarantula. If you can just see there, what I can do is I can just have a little maybe zoom in for you. And there we go. And if you can see, we have her here. She is really calm, docile, which is really surprising for a summer pear species because they can be quite defensive. And if you look there, she has a nice little goldy green carapace, which is this area here. And basically, she's no bother. She's really, really placid. So, living in such a good home. How it should be. I'll put her back. So that's it. And now here we have a, a sex pair. A pair of an Andrew Colora Trivellosis. Sorry about my voice. I'm just my voice. I'm not feeling too well. Uh, the Brazilian black and white tarantulas. Obviously the name says they're from Brazil. Quite a defensive species like most Nandos. Um, obviously hoping that the male doesn't mature far too fast for the female. Um, but I'll show you just how defensive the bloody can be. So, straight away, trying to bite. This one's a male, and this one's a female, which isn't too bad actually. Which is really surprising. I don't want to wind them up too much. But yeah, this is these two here. Absolute stunning species. But like I said, just try and put him back. You'd rather have a go at me, but even just changing the water, I get this response every single time. Yeah, this is these two, thank you. And on to the next one, here we have a Aviculera Aviculera, known as the <coughs> common pink toe tarantula. Quite a good beginner, arboreal species of tarantula. Absolute stunning colours, there's so many genuses of this species. Um, very docile, um, they actually do jump. Um, some can be skittish, but this girl here is definitely not. I'll just get her out and give you guys a closer look at this absolute beautiful young female. Here she is. She's coming out now. I'm just going to get her out under my hand. Yeah, she'll come, but like I said, she's very, very lay it back enough to put my hand in anywhere and just grab her out and here she is here you can see her absolute stunning colors I'll just bring it closer try and get the there we go that's exactly what I needed as you can see she's got a lovely emerald green on her carapace here and you can see why they call them the pink toes there's a the green on carapace and just absolute stunning species. I can see if I can get her a, a video of her, jump her back into her hide. Give me one sec. Nope. She's ready to go in anyway. So that's her. Absolute stunning species. And we'll go on to the next one. And on to the next one. It does have a new species name, but I'm not using that, no chance. I'm gonna to stick to the traditional, much easier one to say, which is a Brachypelma. And this one is an Albopolossum, which is also known as the Honduran curly hair tarantula. You get two different forms, a hobby form and the true form. I do believe this one's a hobby form because it is less of a hairy spider. Um, this one did go missing for a few days, actually, because uh, my reticulated python actually managed to get out and uh, knock it knock it over but lucky enough we found them and we'll just get them up here and just give you guys a look here I'm hoping most of these are are females so uh, as you can see absolutely stunning species um, no bother at all I've Quite a docile, good beginner spider. Get her a decent size, about five inch leg span. Um, not really known to be 
defensive, really, but it does depend on the spider, if I'm honest, so, yeah, I'll put this little guy back, and we'll move on to the next one, and here, I'll be bringing in my juvenile, uh, Pilsolothera regalis, probably said that wrong again, but there you go, um, also known as the Indian Ornamental Spider, Tarantula, sorry, um, real defensive species, as you can see. Um, I'm not too keen on getting this guy out, if I'm honest. Um, let's see if we can get a decent close-up uh, of the little guy. Can you see that all right there? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the best we're going to get, if I'm honest. But, yeah, there he is. Uh, I mean, I would get it out, but I would just be absolutely stupid. It's like I say, quite a very skittish, fast, defensive spider. Um, these grow absolutely huge. I mean, I did have an adult female and she was at least seven inch leg span. Massive, absolutely huge. And when you'd be watching the telly, you'd see a big shadow on the wall. It'd be like something out of a horror film. Absolute class. Um, I'll put this guy back and we'll go on to the next one now. Eh? So now I'm going to bring this guy out here. Uh, these two I'll be showing you next. I'll put this one in here. Oh, just slings. Um, I got them for my birthday. Yeah. Um, in a mystery box and um, paid absolute pennies for this mystery box and got two tarantulas worth in the region of about 200 pounds for the both of them Yeah, one species in here I'll be showing you soon and this green one here is a very rare species which is new in the hobby um, <clears throat> which is a Celecosmia uh, species burrow uh, which is a new rare form of tarantula from Asia um, I'll, what I can do is I can add a, an adult description and picture I'll flash that up on the screen to show you what it'll turn into. Uh, but for now, what I'll do is I'll show you my Hapropelma dorea, which is a Borneo orange fringe. Um, most of these tarantulas I've showed you, I'll try and put in a snippet of what they'll actually look like when they're older. Um, let's have a look at this guy, see if we can get in here. Let's have a look. Um, if you just see around here. Um, usually see those have that Nice markings, you know, sort of chevron on the abdomen. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that down there. So, yeah, that's that one there. Sorry, not much excitement there for you guys, but something for you to look at. And this one, you will think it's absolutely mad if you're not really known in the hobby. Um, <clears throat> why someone would pay so much money for such a small spider. Uh, but yeah, this one is a Celecosmia Buru. Uh, it's a new rare form, new species. Absolute stunning when they get older. See if I can find it. Um, can you just see it there? Yep, I'm sure you can. Such a tiny, tiny baby. I mean, something like this. It's like £160 worth, which is absolute bananas. And you can imagine me trying to repot it back into here. Ran across the window sill and there's me panicking thinking, right? There's all that money down the drain. But no, wait until you see what the adults look like and you'll be absolutely blown away. Right, and now next I'm going to show you something um, which is going to be from my, my centipede. And here we have, already in its defensive posture with its tail up, um, is my Scolopendra Dahani, which is the... It's an Asian centipede, very, very, very defensive and such a bad bite on these guys. I mean, this is the only known centipede species to have actually killed a human being, um, which was unfortunately a seven-year-old little girl in Thailand. Bit her on the ankle and she, she sadly passed away from um, anaphylactic shock, which is an allergic react reaction to the venom. Um, as you can see, what they do is the tail's up, acting as a head. Um, so anything, any predator or anything like that will go for that body part first not realizing the head is here with such enormous fangs packed full of venom ready to turn around bang snap straight in there lock on and envenomate basically and a whole load of pain and um, from what i've heard from stories a bite from one of these guys is just basically like putting a hot poker on your under the bite mark and just leaving it there and not going away for about 45 minutes to an hour and then you've got a week of um cramps muscle spasms Hot flushes, pain. So yeah, this this, this girl is uh, something not to be messed with. But yeah, I think I'll not I'll not mess with her. I'll just put it back away. Then what I can do is, is um, yeah, 
I think that's it from now. So uh, thanks for watching anyway. I'll put these away and hope you enjoyed it. My first time making a proper video, so as you can imagine, not very good. But you know, trying to educate and teach people. And that was a lot more to keeping inverts and spiders and creepy crawlies and such than what meets the eye. Yeah, my next video I'll show you a couple of different reptiles I have and, and talk you through them. Thank you very much.